Hey folks, Clive at Five here, part six of Escape Velocity. Uh, this is just a little bumper, intro bumper I'm, I'm doing. I'm sitting here hunting down some pirates uh, for reasons which will become apparent rather soon. Um, but I figured that I should probably split this chunk out into its own separate piece. Uh, and this is going to be the Artemis group set of missions, so, uh, kick back and relax, I guess. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Exciting. Alright, now I have a new... Oh, my cat is squeaking again. Alright, I got a new mission here. An old man in tattered clothes approaches you. Greetings, my friend, he says. My name is Lucas. I need safe passage to the Opal, uh, to Opal in the Pelagon system. I will reward you when we land. Are you interested? Yeah, I'm interested. Um, I think this has something to do with the storyline missions. Hopefully Pelagon is not that far away. Or, yeah, Pelagon. That's the one. <laughs> Two, three, four. Unfortunately, I still only have five jumps. I should have gotten a external fuel tank. Maybe I should just sell one of these. Yeah, I'll do that. And then I can make it all the way. Five, six. I got six jumps. That's pretty nice. Pirate. I'm not sure if that has something to do with these missions, but we'll find out. Now, it's actually been probably a week since, uh, maybe two weeks since I last played. I've been really busy, you guys, and distracted with some good old Diablo action. Can't lie about that. <laughs> yeah, you've probably seen my YouTube fill up with... Diablo videos, but now I'm pretty much winding down on that, so. Okay, Lucas wakes up and strides off your ship. Even in his tattered robes, you realize he looks like a leader. Thank you for the safe trip, my friend, he says. You are indeed the excellent pilot we were told you were. My group could use your services. Next time you are in the Cirrus system, Stop by the bar on Cirrus Station. One of my group is always there. Just ask for me. Then Lucas slips into the crowd and disappears. Alright. That's a little bit, uh... Odd. Well, let's go to Cirrus and see what happens. Hmm. Eh, I don't really care that much. I'm just gonna... I think I talked about the credits one typically finds on certain pirate ships, and at this point it's not really worth it for me to take the time to board those clippers. Corvette and up, that's the rule. Remembering your strange passenger, you ask the bartender if Lucas is around. He doesn't know what you are talking about, but a dark-haired man in flowing robes approaches you. We were told by Lucas that you would come here. Clive. Oh, yeah, whatever. I can't read. You know what? And it's also like 11.45 at night, so cut me some slack. <laughs> anyway, we need someone to pick up some documents. Are you interested? Yes, I'm interested. Uh, the man in the robe takes back in the back room. Member of a secret organization known as the Artemis Group. Our mission is one of peacekeeping and neutrality. We are paid by large corporations and use behind-the-scenes methods to make sure that all the various factions in the galaxy stay roughly equal. Right now, I, could, uh, I need you to receive some secret documents from our agent on Pirate's Cove. This sounds a little bit familiar. Uh, anyway, but once you have them, return here and we will pay you for your services. Okay. Pirate's Cove. All the way down here. One, two, three, four. I'll just land there, because I know I can. Oh, I should probably care about that.
just refueling. I'm pretty clumsy. Yeah, like I said, it's been about two weeks since I played this, which probably shouldn't really have that big of an effect. Oops. As you land, a ragged-looking woman approaches you. She hands you a single plastic card with a gold chip embedded in it. Keep it safe, uh, is all she says as she walks on by and fades into the mass of people in this gritty docking area. The dark-haired man in the robes meets you at the docking facility. He takes the card, puts it in the reader, and quickly scans it. It's just as we feared, he said. The pirates are starting to unite under a new leader. He shows you the screen, uh, with a photo of a man and a short bio displayed on it. We've known for a few weeks that the pirates were preparing for something big. I will relay this information to Lucas. He may need your help on this. He is on Dune in the Arrakis system right now. Okay. So does that mean I should go to Dune in the Arrakis system? Arrakis, Arrakis. I don't know if that's pronounced Arrakis, but I think that's where I'm going to go anyway. Two, three, four, five. Perfect. Well, not quite perfect. I guess I can jump six times, but whatever. I have enough fuel. It's perfect enough for me. So how are you guys doing? <laughs> you enjoying the escape velocity? I not sure. I gotta be quite honest. I don't know who in the right mind might watch this. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, okay. Um, I'm gonna have to go kill some pirates, but I need some fuel first. It's one of the downsides of getting on one of the factions sides. So yeah, I'm not really sure why you watch this. I don't think... I'd probably make it maybe... 5, 10 minutes into a video like this. Before I was like, nope. Not gonna happen. Or if I was playing the game myself, I might you know, try to figure out what's going on in the missions. Or if I start playing the game and then decide that I don't want to make it all the way through, I might just watch somebody else play it to get the missions. Um, I think right now what I'm going to do is actually stop recording and then kill some pirates until I have an okay rating in the Arrakis system and can land on Dune, and then I'll reconnect with you guys. Hey, so... Now I'm here. You recognize the man sitting at the dark booth on the other side of the bar as Lucas. You approach him. As you approach him, you notice that he is reading a handheld display with an expression of great concern. Without looking up, he says, So, Clive, we meet again. My agents have informed me of your help with the retrieval of certain vital documents. We have another problem, though. Are you willing to accept another job from the Artemis group? Absolutely. Your assistance is appreciated, Lucas says. A ship in the NGC-0595 system has been disabled by pirates. Luckily, the pirates didn't realize that one of my agents was on board. He can't hide forever, though, and the pirates mo will most likely return to finish the job. Why wouldn't they just finish the job with the disabled ship? I don't know. I need you to go get that agent off the ship as soon as you can. I will meet you on Evil Drome as soon as you have rescued him. Okay. That's kind of in an awkward spot. Three, four, five, six, seven, darn it. This could be my chance to nab a Kestrel. No! Get out of here! Oh, jeez. 
credits first. No! Dang it. <laughs> Alright. On with the mission. I guess my greed got the best of me. Disabled ship. Got it. Evil drum. Land it. Lucas meets you as you open the hatch to your ship. The young man that you rescued, who you learned on the short trip to Evil Drone, was Lucas's son. Joseph shakes his father's hand warmly. I, th I thought I went to rescue an agent of yours. You exclaim with anger in your voice. Calmly, Lucas answers you. You did. I wouldn't ask any of my agents to do things that I and my family wouldn't do as well. You see, we are all members of the Artemis Group. My family and I meet me again in the bar on New Instable in a few days. Okay. Oh, hey, here's a. We were from the side of the bar. He sits down at the table. Suddenly, the wrestling man, it's just a light burst in the bar, and walk over to you, asking for the whereabouts of the balloon. Do you tell him where that he already left? Yep. So thanks. I need to save my life. Look, I need your help. You quickly agree. I'm working for United. Galactic Express, he says. I'm shipping a valuable load of luxury goods through these parts. Those thugs pummeled my ship but managed to land here and hide my cargo. I'm sure they'll be scanning every ship that leaves, and I'm history if I eat another missile. I need you to carry my cargo to their trap, or through their trap, rather. I'll take off behind you. We'll rendezvous at North Star. Okay, so this is just an extra mission that I can run at the same time. Yeah. I still need to go to New Istanbul. Um, where was that? <laughs> Crap. New Istanbul, there we go. Yumero. Yum Yem Yemuro. <laughs> I don't know. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna just drop that off at Claire's first. Oh, this actually looks rather curious. I may need help. Oh. Issued the wrong command. F was what I wanted. I guess I hit E. So, just waiting to load the pilot, which is taking forever. There we go. I may have lost one. One, two, three, four. I'm on him. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Roger. Yeah, I think I lost one. Oh well. Eventually I'll hopefully snag a caster. Dang it, I already jumped. <laughs> Dangling it in front of my face. Thanks a lot. Are you 
you kidding me? I did it again. Well, now I know where to go if I want to find a Kestrel. I'll just land here, I guess. Guy's gonna pay me. Then I disembarked some grid on the face, and it worked wonderfully. Yeah, time to get mechanics and Dark Star. I work on my ship. Look, pal, you saved my life and my job. Here he hands you a credit ship worth 70,000 credits. That's all I have on me right now. Believe me, I'd give you millions if I had the money. Well, that doesn't really mean a whole lot. Uh, look, I'll put a recommendation for you at UG headquarters out at Tabletop. They got some well-paying career jobs to offer, if that's the kind of thing you like. Well, I guess. Alright, let me uh, head on over to New Istanbul. I wonder if it used to be Constantinople. That was lame. As you enter the bar, you see Lucas and his son Joseph talking quietly. They motion you over. On his last spy mission, Joseph determined that the new pirate leader, Nar Akasi, is uniting the pirates for a major offensive, Lucas informs you. They aim to smash interstellar trade, loot every world they find, and destroy Confederation outposts in an attempt to tip the outcome of the Civil War. It looks like they will have the ships and pilots to do it, too. Clive, we need your help again. Will you take Joseph to Sauron? Yes. Joseph continues the briefing. We need to gather our forces together. Our most experienced pilots, a mercenary group called the Hunters, are on Sauron. I need to go there to brief them and rally them for battle. This won't be an easy mission. The pirates know who you are now, and they will be looking for us. When we get to Sauron, the hunters will help us, but until then, we will be on our own. Joseph quickly says goodbye to his father and leaves to board the Clivestrel. You like that name? Clivestrel? Sauron. Okay, it's probably going to be seven jumps. Two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Okay. Probably going to get attacked by some pirates. They're pretty weak, no big deal. you for my own. Nope. Never mind. Then. And an Argosy. Ferocious. I just don't understand the appeal of that ship as a pirate at all. Pretty clearly a trading vessel. 
But anyway, as Joseph leaves your ship, he gives you new directions. My father has traveled to Clotho Prime and is meeting with rebel leaders to try to secure help against the pirates. Proceed there and meet him. He will give you your payment. In the meantime, I will talk to the hunters. Clotho Prime. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, I'm glad I bought that fuel cell. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nope. Okay. Still, these guys are not As you land, Lucas steps from the crowd and greets you. After letting him know that his son arrived safely at Sauron, he tells you about his meeting with the group of representatives from the militias of many of the nearby systems. It did not go well at all, my friend. He says, no one believes the pirates can unite, and even if they do, they would not be seen as a critical threat. I'm afraid they are wrong. Lucas invites you to the bar to discuss his new plan. Okay, I'm listening. We have one last chance, Lucas tells you as you sit down. The rebels and militias won't help us, but I know someone else who might. Will you take me to Zaxt Starport? Yes. Lucas quietly tells you that this, is, uh, this will not be an easy mission. The pirates, it seems, will be doing everything they can to stop you and the Artemis group. Ooh, I got some new buddies here. say this would not be an easy mission. Oh, we're going to send pirates every time, I see. Lucas leaves your ship, he says, Thank you for the lift, my friend. Please go to Sauron and tell my son that all is nearly ready. If the militias and rebels won't help, then perhaps I will find another who will. Nah. <laughs> Got enough pirate business going on right now. Joseph approaches you. You give him his father's message. Good, he says. We have determined that the pirates are not ready for a fight quite yet. They are not coordinated as a group, so this, this is the time to strike. Come on into the bar and let me buy you one last drink before we go into the battle. Okay, here we go. A shady-looking character approaches you. His clothing is ripped, his face is bruised and cut. He keeps... Uh, is this the same group? I don't... I don't think so. No. There we go. No. <laughs> and no. That's not the one. And there we go. Joseph buys you a synthale. Okay. 
The time has come for a preemptive strike to prevent the pirates from carrying out their plans. We have located a staging point in the NGC 1896 uh, system. Will you fly there and fight with us? Where? Oh, that's so far away. Yeah, I guess I'll do it. Glad to have you on board one last time, Joseph says. Many of our mercenaries work as escort pilots for the UGE. How wouldn't you know it? Uh, when they aren't working for the Artemis group. My father, with the help of the hunters, has convinced UGE to help us out this time. Normally UGE doesn't consider us an ally ever since we thwarted their hostile takeover plans at the Battle of New Wessex. But this time, old animosities have uh, been cast aside. Now we fight for the same goals. If we both survive, I'll buy you a drink on pirate, uh, Privateer's Haven. Good luck. Okay. Six. So let me think this one out. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I can capture this guy. That might be fun. Oh boy. That was pretty awesome. I'm sure I'm going to lose all my escorts here. Oh jeez. That's not good. 
good. That is not good. Now I'm dead. Why is Cydonia mad at me? I can do this. Not sure if you noticed, but the screen went black for a second there, uh, which signifies that I uh, went too far in one direction and uh, basically cycled. Oh! Wow, I need maybe. ship. Oh. Why all of a sudden do they get mad at me? I don't get it. Alright, whatever. Yes. 
so many kestrels. Alright, you know what? I'm not going to make you watch this. I'm going to... When I get close to beating it, then I'll, uh, I'll jump back in. Alright, I'm back, and I've figured this out. Um, the trick is that you don't have to kill every single kestrel in one trip. Um, I think those are just some extra pirates around. Um, so yeah, I only have two kestrels left from what I know. Um, torpedoes make an amazing weapon. So long as you don't shoot them straight into asteroids. Um, basically all you have to do is ignore or avoid the javelin pods. And that's that. Blast away with torpedoes for a while. Um, I of course have lost all my escorts because on the the first outing I uh, used them to annihilate maybe four or five kestrels. I got up to six corvettes and then just started walloping in. So, I mean, technically I could have not even told my escorts to attack, but, you know, I didn't want to make that many trips. I'll get them back eventually, anyway. Alright, now these guys should be pretty simple. Set at me are just Argosies. Last one. I hope that wasn't a pirate that just warped in. It was, but it was an Argosy, so no big deal. I can try to board this guy, see if he has anything worthwhile. Get out of my face! Alright, so there we go. Back in the bar, Joseph and Lucas buy you one last synth ale. It looks like Nar Akasi was somewhere in the f that fleet of pirates, Lucas informs you. So our immediate work here is done. But we will be back again, my friend, whenever the fragile balance of powers in this galaxy is threatened. Until we meet again, Clive, they hand you a credit chip and walk out of the bar, disappearing quickly into the crowd. That's it. It was like 500,000. That's lame. Uh, okay. Well, I'm just going to keep going here. And this is an unrelated mission, but hey, I'll just tack it on to the end here. Oh, I guess I need to... Oh, I guess I can't sell anything here. So, there we go. That's going to be the end of this part, I guess. Looks fun. Uh, yeah, thanks, oops. That's gonna be the end of part six. We'll be on part seven.